Uh, this is just a video test. This isn't really supposed to do anything. Experience is a teacher of all things. Or as I like to say, success teaches us nothing. Only failure teaches. Find out where we're at here in our little wintry wonderland. South Pole? Woo. What the? I gotta fix that. I keep getting stuck. Aha! I have a visitor. I have plenty of bolts. Oh, there's two of them. I don't know if I hit them. Yep. Bolt drop now. Oh, I got them. They don't drop bags anymore. They changed that too. Oh, we'll take care of this guy here. Up, oh, I got him. I saw the hit marker. Okay. Alright, he had some goodies, some food. I have to worry about eat it. That guy just fell down and spawned in. He had his club hanging out through his stomach. Okay, so I should have... Yep, I can do two more of these guys. We'll switch to the sword now. I've been up this mountain. It's pretty big. Kind of a pain. Oi! You what? You what, mate? The AI is really kind of stupid. Alright, bandages. We'll eat some dinner. Mostly just is messing around with a new... Uh, instead of a constant bitrate, I'm doing variable bitrate on my recorder utility. I'm using OBS Broadcaster. Or Studio, rather. Studio. And I changed a couple audio settings with 44.1 kilohertz to 48 kilohertz. Not that my mic can support that high, but uh, for its sample rate. So I'm just kind of tooling around and I'm going to see how this sounds and how this looks. I also went from 59.94 to 60 frames per second. Hopefully it's a bit smoother. It looks a bit choppy just from my mouse movement. If I kind of. There's really not a whole lot going on over here. And I can feel the heat coming out of my uh, all in one cooler for my CPU as it's busy working away, doing its thing. Alright, I gotta circle around the house in case somebody decides to like pay a visit here. Alright, so where am I at? Map. This is the South Pole right here where these four corners line up. Yeah, it's South Pole. So I'm right here, and I th want to say this is a contested squares because of bandits and stuff. Yes, I'm filming. And this is, I reason I built this here is because of this big, giant iron spawn, which also links all the way up here to this hill under underground. So we'll show that off. I'll let that bandit just kind of be confused for a bit. Ah, my daughter was so nice. She goes, oh, you're recording. Let's shut the door to your room. It's like, okay, perfect. You guys are awesome. So this is the first floor of my little keep. Smelter for all the ore that I get from digging that hill out. I've generated a lot of stone. And because that stone came from the side of the hill. I said, I don't want to be bothered having to go outside to go mine. I'll just... i got to fix that. Make it so it's a little less easier to step on. So I just kind of tunneled my way through. It's like I'm playing Minecraft. I even have the torches on the left side of the wall like I always do in Minecraft. Of course, it's kind of a pain to set them up in this game, unlike Minecraft. They stick to anything. Here, you gotta have something for the torches to stick on. And then you just kind of work your way up 
because I kind of just kind of followed them out and said, okay, I should be standing here when I get to that second iron spawn. And huzzah, here it is. I even like, it dug through the roof, so I kind of filled in with some dirt to make it more complete. But yeah, I can totally get all the dirt, all the stone, all the iron I want. I don't know how far down this goes, if it does truly link up with that first spawn. I suppose I'll find out eventually. Who knows, I might actually throw this video up on YouTube. It's been going for a while. Unless it totally sucks, then it won't. So I was opening this up for multiplayer, but the friend I was playing with in Australia is having issues trying to connect to it. Ping rate was pretty bad, because it's being hosted literally right off my machine. I actually looked into getting a hosting service, like paying for it and all that, but uh, I had trouble trying to figure out how in the world I was supposed to change settings to change inventory, because right now I have 70 inventory slots and I got a bunch of stuff to melt down. So, do I see anybody from here? I kind of wish I'd made these windows a little bit more open, but... Now that those are load-bearing structures, I really don't feel like tearing those walls out. So, we go up these stairs, and we're on the second floor, which is kind of like dining area, where my spawn point is set. Then I got a third floor that does a bunch of nothing. I got a fourth floor that does a whole bunch of nothing. So it just got better windows, and it's not uh, stone-walled anymore. And then we go up into the attic where I got some extra braziers, 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 bras, <laughs> what do you call those things, how do you pronounce that, archaic language, isn't it funny, so, most of my time is spent in this large, large-ish room, this is the original doorway, although the, the wall's been changed, it was just all wooden walls. So then I changed everything up to be stone because barbarians do not typically equip hammers that can take apart stone structures. They just don't for some reason. Whereas I have all steel everything and all that. This isn't even my main base but it's kind of become my main base because it's so much fun being out here just hunting bandits. I totally missed you, didn't I? Well, fine, we'll do you with one of those. So they drop all sorts of loot. This guy's got a sword. And they kind of suck at combat, even though they did get an adjustment. I saw the patch notes that they did change their behavior and loot tables a bit, but I really haven't seen much of a difference. They're still really stupid in terms of what they do. Like, that guy's just kind of just hanging out in the snow doing a bunch of nothing. He's not aggressing my stuff. He's not trying to break down my door. He's just kind of there. So we're going to snipe him. Yep, got him. So that takes half his health out, about. And then I can whack him with the sword and finish him off. Ow, that hurt. That stung just a little bit. That's okay. Free bandages. So yeah, they drop bandages, they drop uh, food preparation items, they drop complete meals. Oh, there's a guy up there. I see him. That's why I kind of like being up here in the middle of nowhere, or down in the middle of nowhere, because it is the South Pole. Is because you can see them coming from practically a mile away. It's very convenient. Because they stand out like sore thumbs in the snow. If this was a heavily forested area with lots of trees and green and all that, I wouldn't know they were there until, like, running up all in my face. Like, this dirt here was added because I broke through the surface and I didn't want to break through the surface. So this is this exposed iron. The little palisades there is where the other stuff is at. Like, you get some trees up here. That is the biggest problem up here, or down here. I keep saying up here. It's the South Pole, darn it. So down here. Down south is trees. So fortunately I have fast travel turned on pretty much wherever I want, so that's easy to do. Wood's really not a big deal. 
he's not even looking at me. Like, he's just like dirt. Oh, there's another guy. See, he's hiding out in the rocks. He's hard to see. I almost missed him. If he was a snake, he would have bit me. So I scored a hit on him. Can he even get after me? Or are you stuck? Oh, I like this song. Ow. At least they don't fall down the hill. See, I'm about ready to fall down the hill. Ah, uh, that looks so weird. Like I'm... Like my legs are bent. Like, am I standing like... What? There we go. <laughs> it's still an alpha product. It's a little buggy. Ow. Those clubs hurt more than the swords do. Maybe I should take a hint and start using the clubs. Because they're easy. Just some metal bits and a uh, piece of wood. Smash some metal into the wood and say, Here, have a nice day. Let's lacerate your face real good. Swords make a nice cleaner cut. Although these being... It's kind of a, I, I don't know, longsword? Generic longsword? They have some heft to them because they're supposed to smash through light armor and stuff. And if that doesn't always work, you can always stick them at the pointy end. Oh, there's a guy. Is that a guy? Yep, that's a guy. Do I have any more bolts? No, it's melee time. I'm still slightly hurt from the last guy, but that's okay. So I don't have to worry about food, I don't have to worry about even mining iron, because they drop iron swords all the time I can just scrap. Okay. Just stand there. See? The AI is like literally dumb. <laughs> oh, map piece! Sweet! Maybe I'll get a map piece going. That'll be good. Run back to my hovel. Swap around the side. Sometimes they liked congregating right here on the ground. Just kind of like staring at the wall. Like just, just standing there. Kind of like how I'm standing there now. It was really kind of bizarre. It's like, what are you guys doing? They were trying to pick on my claim block for a bit. But then they stopped. They stopped doing that. But literally, they haven't tried attacking my stuff at all, so I'm not sure what their malfunction is. Yeah, see, look, I can't even clear that out. Okay, so I got that going on. Where did I put the map sections? The problem is you collect more loot. You're like, oh boy, more loot. Okay, so I got one of those already. I need, I need the upper left corner. That's what I want. Do I have room in my buckets for more skulls? Yeah, that's how many bandits I've been killing. I'm full. I need to make another bucket. Which I can't remember what it is. Okay, so I need some metal bits and I need some planks. Okay, well, let's make some planks. Here we go. Another chest full of skulls. <laughs> yeah, twelve on me at the time. So this was a lot of fun to do, but this is all single player. This isn't online or anything. Put some rocks away. Do I have any dirt I can stash? Nope, no dirt. And then I just got chests and chests full of goodies. Like berries, lots of berries, lots of roots. They tend to drop berries and roots less often than they do, or berries and shrooms less often than roots and herbs, because I got a lot of herb, a lot of roots, quite a bit of herbs. I can make all sorts of stuff. And I gotta find where I can put this ore. I'll put you there for now since I ran out of space in my ore pit, which is. I thought it was loose, but it must not be loose. Oops, oops, I'm stuck! 
obviously beta. So yeah, I have lots and lots of iron. That, that chest is almost full of iron. This chest is full of iron. And some of that's from working the spawns of iron up here. I mean, there's plenty of iron. I have no shortage of iron whatsoever. Plus, you can resmelt your tools before they break. And all you need is a piece of wood to make the tool again. And you're done. And, and wood is easy to find. I still got that to go dig up. I got all that to dig up. I mean, it's I'm not hurting for food. I'm not hurting for metal. It's actually quite easy playing up here. Now, I started already established with having a complete set of tools and gear and... Oh yeah, I'm out. That's right. I forgot. It's nice that you can kind of use it as an impromptu little pair of binoculars. It's like, well, that's cool. I didn't see the magnifying glasses on these, but... I see he's going to take a swing at me. But I can just back up and then half the time he won't hit me. Another iron sword. More iron. Two ingots of iron. Oh yeah, I still got the barrel. A bunch of nothing. Oh, I should show off the mace. I actually found the mace. I picked up a treasure map and ran it down. Found the treasure. Looted it. And I got... The mace, which is just totally awesome. It does about the same damage as a steel sword. It just looks so much cooler. The problem is, I don't think there's a way to make this thing again if it breaks. So it's too awesome to use. So it's a display weapon. It's like, check out how wealthy I am. I have a mace, right? Here's my smithy right here. I can do all my stuff here. I can do iron steel, all that fun stuff. I got lots and lots and lots of bandages and things just chilling out. Yeah, I got 120 bandages. Those are all from bandit drops. I didn't make a single one of them. Bandits are basically loot pinatas. They kind of do this little ragdoll tumbling thing when they spawn in. It's kind of funny. You only really see it from a distance, if you're lucky. Oh, see, there's some trees. If I need more trees, there are some. See, there's another guy up there just kind of hanging out. They constantly spawn in, but the AI is so stupid. They don't want to come aggress you half the time. It's because I... And you got a club, and clubs... Oh, uh, there's some root, uh, mushrooms. Clubs are good for fuel to keep the furnaces lit because then I don't have to worry about getting trees. I'll just use clubs and their wooden hammers and that's all the wood I ever need. Oh, look, I'm hungry. Let me eat some of the snacks that they gave me. You kind of wish that the AI was a little bit smarter, like they'd actually like try getting in your house. Would do more than just stand there. They didn't even get a hit on me. Alright, more shrimps. I need more shrimps. Well, I really didn't need more shrimps. I got so much stinking food. Most of it is from these bandits. Because they're guaranteed to drop some sort of food item. So I've been living actually kind of kind of high off the hog here. High on the hog. However you say it's a stupid phrase. Just from killing bad guys. Alright, let's sort this mess out. More roots. And I got more mushrooms. I'm actually running out of room in those two barrels. I need to make more storage because I'm that basically fat catting it up here in my little all right, well, I ran out of places to put swords. There. That's how much extra stuff I have to smelt, because I don't even have the room in the smelter for it all yet. I got all sorts of goodies. Like, I can just say, fine. Craft up both of those. Make some more useless iron I really don't need. 
then we'll craft that up too. I could literally bathe in iron ingots at this point. It'd be kind of neat if you could take iron ingots and combine them into some sort of larger stackable block that would make them more compact for storage. But that's not what we get. We'll put some more fuel in there. Using a piece of charcoal I had left over. Oh, they dropped torches too. Torches are nice. I'll get some bits. I'll get 10 bits off of this. So yeah, 30 blocks of iron, which I can then make a bunch of steel if I want. Yeah, see, steel bits. And I don't have to worry about making or making metal bits out of, like, whatever ore that I got. And I have 285 more of these stupid bits. 295 bits. I absolutely do not have a shortage of anything besides wood. And that's not even that hard to get. So, that was some bit of engineer shenanigans. I'll see how this recorded, and if it worked good, you'll be seeing it. And if it didn't work good, you won't. And I'll talk to you all later. Y'all have a good day.